Okay, can you tell me um, the story about uh, it was with you and a guy that got arrested with Snoop when he got arrested for the murder, Sean Dog? Did you guys get into it one time? <laughs> Sean Dog. At the death row uh, parking lot? Yeah, Sean Dog was a hater all the time. He Snoop's best friend, one of his best friends, but Sean Dog was a hater. That nigga just a, he from insane. So that's enemy shit, you know? So when it come to a young nigga out in the streets, really trooping out here, he kind of felt that intimidation. Mm -hmm. You could just tell, you know? So anytime he was around, it was negative vibes and shit. I remembered that later on when he was still fucking with Daz. So you gotta think, Daz is a set hop type of nigga, flip flop. Like, if you remember on Murder Was a Case, on What Would You Do, Daz said, I'm a natural born killer in the still I had East Side Long Beach. Like, if you say you from East Side Long Beach in the still I had, that means you from Rolling 20 Crip. So, pressing Daz over the years, he. My cousin Cub get out in 98, he turned insane crib. Mm -hmm. Under some shit or whatever, he turned insane. So now, here come 99, Snoop, everybody in left death row, you the only one still over there, Daz. When I come back around, you got Sean Dog and all these niggas around, cause that's where you from now. Mm -hmm. You ain't from the set no more. You from over here. So Sean Dog is with the nigga, and we going to Source Awards or BET or something. We all up under the parking lot, 8200 Wilshire at Death Row. Mm -hmm. So it's Daz and Sean Dog, and I don't know who else was in the limo with them niggas, but they was getting in the limo. So you got Pooh Rider, Destruct, the twin, the homies from Two Ps, all them niggas. I fuck with all with all these niggas. These my niggas on death row, you know? Mm -hmm. So Lip, Realist, all these niggas is just getting in the van. I'm like, fuck that car, I'm getting in the limo with these niggas. Mm -hmm. So Sean Dog like, nah, pal, you can't get in the dog pound limo. This the dog pound limo. So I'm like, what? So I, I instantly get on him like, fuck that dog pound shit, nigga. You from, where you from? I disrespect him like, nigga, fuck y'all. Like, but I say the disrespectful term for they hood. I ain't gonna disrespect because I got a lot of family from insane and love from insane niggas. But so the blood niggas start, like why I'm saying it, because it start with a B. Uh, they think I'm saying that these niggas are saying fuck blood. They like, fuck blood, fuck blood, who's saying fuck blood? So, you know, they rushing from one side to rush this limo. So I'm only, boom, boom, me and Sean Dog, we get them up. I beat cuz the brakes off the nigga in the limo. Cuz, like, he hit me in the face with a bottle and all that. Nigga ain't had no bottle or nothing, but this, you beat so bad, nigga, you want somebody to believe, nigga, you got hit in the face with a bottle. So I'm like, cuz, I ain't going to the awards. Fuck that. That nigga going, I ain't going. So I guess cuz tied a rag around his mouth or something and went to the awards because he was all busted up and all that shit. But yeah, Sean Dog know what's happening. Okay. Um, so today, what is your situation with Snoop as of, as of right now? It ain't no situation as of right now unless cuz feel some type of way. Still, like, you know what I'm saying? As a man, if you still feel some type of way, it's whatever you make it, you know? Or however you want to take it, you know? But as far as me, Snoop, like I said, Snoop a homie, because it's a video on, I like to laugh at this shit too, because it's a video online of a rare Snoop in the rolling 20s out of meeting or some shit, and uh, Snoop talking. But I come over and interrupt him. Now, ain't nobody talking but Snoop. You know niggas trying to listen. So, you know me, I'm factor in the hood, nigga. I'm, nigga, I'm going to show niggas... I'm younger than you and they listen to me too, nigga. So I come over, why? I say some shit. So I take over the little shit. I'm telling niggas, cut it Snoop. You know, you know the big homie, cuz, let cuz, you know, talk and say what he gonna say, cuz, here, cuz, all we need. Be happy we got a nigga like this from the hood. Like, I'm getting at niggas like that. 
So the shit go on. So I say something else. Snoop like, yeah, cuz, cuz, cuz. That's why niggas mad at you right now, cuz. Cuz you always talking out of turn, cuz. You say shit when you ain't supposed to be talking. It ain't your turn, cuz. So a lot of niggas like, cuz, checked you, cuz, cuz, checked you on that video. Ha, 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 ha. But what niggas don't know is, you know, that was in 2005. So me and Snoop beef go back to 94. So over them years, it's like, in 2005, we trying to work some shit out and, you know, and you know what I'm saying, they gonna say what he gonna say, but I gotta check that day though. You know, I gotta check for 10 racks that day. So I'm gonna let a nigga talk, you finna cash out, you know, just, we all be see that video, just know, like, cuz let cuz say what he said, cuz, 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 gotta check. So, you know, it's politics, man. Y'all niggas got to understand all this little shit y'all be seeing on these videos and YouTubes and all that. Man, uh, a lot of that shit is fake, bro. Niggas be lying and making up shit. And I'm going to keep it 1,000 with you. Like, it is what it is. Win, lose, or draw. You still here, nigga. You feel me? Another day above ground, you can win. You feel me? But niggas be lying and, 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 and putting 10 on a 20 on this shit. Like Spider Loke, I don't even know you, nigga. You gonna tell a story on this internet shit talking about I swoop, had some cocaine and we was at death row and, and he was fighting Suge and then I went over there and I beat him up too. Like Suge didn't even beat me up, nigga. You better check some shit, nigga. Nigga, the one time I had a issue with Shug under death row, you wasn't there. Nigga, it was his security and my old boy LD, Lil Dimp from the set. They put pistols on him and walked him back to a wall while me and Shug squabble up. I bust his lip. He snatched my shirt off me and threw it on my face and tried to, you know that sneaky shit when they pull your shirt off me? The blind Yeah, here. some bullshit. I snatched that shit off and threw it in his face and boom, pop. So, should know. Reds can find out. Because them was Red security guards that was there that day, I'm pretty sure. You wasn't there, bro. So, for a nigga to clout chase a nigga years, I don't even know. You never seen, you never met you. Like, was the nigga even on death row? Yeah, he was on. Like, yeah, that nigga was on death row. The row. Yeah, that nigga wasn't on death row, bro. We don't know each other. No, no, no. You know, I don't have nothing against you or nothing, but when you lie on my name, a reputable nigga, cause clout chasing, and then you it's disrespectful not just to me, to Simon too, cause Suge ain't gonna have to jump no nigga unless he jumping in, cause you didn't jump the nigga like the Tupac shit. Mm -hmm. Other than that, Suge ain't jumping on nigga. I think I was a hundred and twenty pounds, wet, snorting coke and Sherman, so. It don't even sound right. Oh, we jumped him and all this old shit like, like you you make the big homie look bad when you say shit like that, cause Suge she, she got a rep out here. So do I. I can't let it slide, bro. We never met. You know that, cuz. You know that too, cuz. Me and Red's gonna call you, nigga. We gonna call you. It's all good. 